In this House of Logic video, we're going to connect Grafana up to Azure in order to do some metric monitoring. Now, to get started with this, um, obviously you need to have a Grafana instance. I've got mine installed um, and I've done this a couple of times. And there's a few videos on the channel about this. So mine's running on Docker um, locally, so self-hosted. Um, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over into Azure where there is another prerequisite. So to get this uh, connected up, so I have a very uh, lightweight um, Azure um, uh, tenant. And what we need to actually do is we actually need to have a log analytics workspace. So to make this work, or rather the the actual connection through from um, Grafana seems to believe that you need one of these. So we will have a look. There we go. Usage information. We're going to, yeah, that's all fine. Hopefully it's not going to cost me a fortune. We're going to call it demo uh, LAW. Um, and we can then hit create. So we've already created a resource group in Azure to put it into. It shouldn't take very long. Okay, great. It's uh, it's finished now. So we'll go to the resource. Just check it exists. Yep, all looking good there. Okay, so what we need to do also in Azure is in Enter ID, you need to go into App Registrations and you need to create an app registration in order to connect Grafana up. So you can choose New Registration and we'll call it uh, Demo App Reg. That's no, actually Demo Grafana app reg and we're going to make this single tenant because that's the only one um, that applies in our case uh, we don't need to worry about a redirect URI we can simply hit uh, create on this one or register I should say okay that's um, worked that's very quick we need to copy the uh, the actual directory ID we're going to need this in a moment so some of this I'm going to be masking out in this video, I'm afraid. Um, the application ID. Which I am not going to be keeping, so I don't mind showing that. Then you need to go and create a, a secret. And you need a client secret for this. And we'll call it secret1 and hit add and I'm not worried about showing off any of that because it's going to get deleted soon enough so we'll copy that and then we will go back to Grafana so what you want to do in here is you want to find data sources a new data source I've already started searching for it because I tried this previously um, is uh, Azure so that shows up as Azure monitor and then what you can do quite simply is take your uh, first of all your directory your tenant ID and then your application ID and finally your secret paste those in and then you should hopefully be able to actually make it work so let's save and test and it still doesn't like it okay what I've actually forgotten here is I haven't actually assigned any permissions to the app registration um, so we're gonna uh, leave that page there and we'll come back to it in a moment um, if we go back to um, Azure here then what we can do is we can go back into the um, the subscriptions which in my case is simply called pay as you go and then we can go and do some access rights assignment. Now, um, what I forgot to do was this step. So we need to go and add a um, role assignment for monitoring reader. So there's monitoring reader and we'll go next and we're then gonna select the service principle which is called uh, Demo Grafana App Reg. And with that selected, we can then review and assign 
So we've granted the entire subscription permission and that's now in place. And we can go back into Grafana once again and hopefully this time if we hit load subscriptions it should work. Let's find out. There we go, it has turned up. So it's showing the uh, the pay-as-you-go subscription and we can then save and test and hopefully this will work. It still says it's failing. Okay, I'm going to um, give it a minute or two and see if that, well, basically see if the Azure permissions sort themselves out. So um, I'll pause the recording and try again in a sec. Okay, so um, I have not, in fact, had to change anything. As suspected, it just took a moment or two for Azure to, well, catch up with itself, I think. So that has um, saved successfully, which means if we go over to dashboards now, we can go and create a new dashboard. And we can add a visualization. And rather than selecting Prometheus, we can select Grafana. And within here, what we can do is we can drill in to the available resources. So we can drill into the page you go subscription. And within there, we can find a suitable uh, resource group. So let's go with the demo VM resource group and we will choose the demo VM that I set up earlier. And we can hit apply. And now within the, uh, the metric namespace for the virtual machines, we can choose what C, uh, what we want, what metric. So let's choose um, percentage CPU. We'll go with the average. And there we go. We can see that over the last six hours, or if we want to see it uh, more recently. So if we go with the last 15 minutes, in fact, it's trailed off here because it's just at 7 o'clock and I've set this machine to auto shutdown. So perfect timing. We can see that that has uh, dropped off. Um, so with that selected, what we will do is we'll give the panel a title. CPU percentage and we can go back to the dashboard and we can go into settings and go with let's call it Azure VM monitoring and this is very basic obviously uh, we can save the dashboard and go back to it and there we have it we have a very very simple um, dashboard um, where we are in Grafana, we're extracting metrics from Grafana. So there's the last three hours or so. And you can do all sorts of different visualizations in here. Um, so that about wraps this one up. Um, I hope this has been um, useful. Um, there will probably be some other follow-up um, videos, I suspect, on different bits of Azure monitoring. Um, so please let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular that you'd like me to look at. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe um, if that's your kind of thing. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Thanks very much. Bye now.